Hi, um, it's Kirsty here. So I finally am able to make a video because I've stolen my husband's laptop because when I try and do a video on my laptop it sounds like I'm talking underwater. Um, so first question, how and when did you meet your husband? Um, I met my husband in high school. Um, he, he's like one of my, we met through mutual friends. Um, that was five years ago. Um, yesterday it was actually our five year anniversary. So it was a while ago. Um, but I'm happy I met him, obviously. Um, what is your biggest motivation to recover? Um, it kind of ties into the next question of do you ever want kids? Um, I would love to one day have a family and be normal and live a normal life and um, be a mum and I can't do that like this so yeah I've got to recover I don't really have a choice in it what's your relationship like with your family um with my family as in my mum and my dad um and my sister which ties into the next two questions of any siblings and what are they like um, I do not talk to my father, um, he's, yeah, I've had quite a bad relationship with him, he's quite abusive, so I just, yeah, don't talk to him anymore. Um, my mum I do talk to, I get along with her fairly well. Um, my sister used to get along with her really well, and now I don't. Um, she kind of just turned really mean and so I stopped trying to make the effort because it was always me making the effort and I just got sick and tired of it. Um, explain a little bit about BPD, okay. The best um, explanation that I have ever heard like heard for BPD is that it's like a th the psychological equivalent to um, a third degree burns victim so I have no emotional skin at all I feel things very strongly like I can't feel just a little bit happy or a little bit sad or a little bit worried it's always all out um, it's exhausting I can go from one mood emotion to another um, within 10 minutes and it's just a complete roller coaster. Um, I, my, I have a really bad fear of abandonment um, and I can get crazy reactions to real or imagined abandonment. Um, I'm trying to think what else is in the DSM. Um, it's basically ruined my life and ruined everything and it's a pretty horrible personality disorder to have and yeah it makes I'm really impulsive as well and I, I'm not very good at explaining it check the DSM that was like I fit all nine of the criteria of the DSM um, and that, yeah, really explains what it's like. Why did I finally decide to recover? Um, I think I finally realised I had a problem, as in my anorexia. Um, I knew I'd had a problem with my BPD for a long time. Um, but... I don't know, I kind of realised that I couldn't keep on living like this because it was no life at all um and I had a nurse in a different hospital that wouldn't give up on me and she was always like you have an eating disorder you have an eating disorder you have an eating disorder and I was like no I don't I'm fine there's nothing wrong with me but yeah there was, obviously, and she wouldn't give up on me until I admitted it, and I admitted that I needed help. So, she was a pretty big part. Like, she, yeah. 
she played a pretty big part in me deciding to come here to this hospital how is recovery treating you so far um it's pretty awful to be honest i have this which is painful and horrible um it's hard every single bite is hard um i have to remember that food is poison to anna and with every bite i take i'm just killing her more um and yeah i've just got to keep on going that's because i don't have any choice whatsoever in this because it's either recover or live a really horrible life so yeah i'm trying to recover yeah anyway that was all the questions if you have any more my ask box is open please don't send me horrible messages because they're really triggering and unhelpful I don't like a non-hate um, I'm sorry that this camera has been moving the whole time because my stupid husband keeps on moving it um, yeah anyway that is all I guess stay strong guys bye